Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you why I did what I did here on the front of these kayaks on my little trailer. And this is so that you can secure your kayak while you pull your trailer out of the boat ramp. Stay tuned. This is my wife's kayak, and I'm going to show you the bottom of it. There is there is actually two tunnels, which we've been using with with uh, with these pipes, but the kayak is a little unstable when we're towing it and when we're uh, driving up on it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to utilize these flat areas on the bottom of this kayak there and there so that wow we've got a missing screw here uh, so we can uh, glide the kayak it'll still center with this but at least the kayak will will glide on on these two rails so and I've got some carpet that I'm going to put on on these boards but that way the kayak will glide on this one now now my kayak has these smaller rails there and there all right first things first here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the first layer or the carpet on this first 2x4 I'm going to leave a little bit of overhang right here so I can fold it now this this is 10 foot so I'm gonna have to Gonna, gonna, there's that accent. I'm going to, but I don't want to waste this, so I'm going to go ahead and staple this here. And it's going to follow the edge of this 2x4. And by the way, this is pressure treated lumber. So it ought to last a long time. How long the carpet lasts, that's another question. But it's supposed to be outdoor carpet. I got this for about 18 bucks at Lowe's in the, in the carpet section. I was talking to the guy there and he said, he said that, uh, that it was more expensive if I bought it by the yard. So I thought, nah, this is already pre-cut, ready to go. Now, I'm probably going to have to overlap the next section, but I figure most of the stress is going to be at the beginning when the kayak is coming on rather than here where, where the, um, the gunnel is, I guess. The front of the kayak is probably not going to have that much pressure. But we're also, the idea of doing this is because we need wood in the front in order to um, secure the kayaks while we pull the boat out of the water. We've been having to pull the kayaks up at the boat ramp and then tie the kayak to the trailer so that uh, the kayaks don't slide off <laughs> when we drive off out of the water. So this is this is what we're trying to cure by doing these uh, these rails plus some uh, wood section up here in the front. Alright, so we got is done. Now what I'm doing here is I'm pulling the carpet around so it's not going to bubble on me. So I'm actually grabbing the carpet and giving it a little twist.
went and got my trusty utility knife. Now all we have to do Ooh, this baby is sharp. our first carpeted board. Yippee! Now I'm not going to bore you with all this, so we'll skip over till I get this board done, but you get the, you pretty much got the idea. Now we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do the two by six. I'm going to give this about an inch and a half the same way and go ahead and staple this runner and this will actually also serve for me to be able to walk out onto the end of the uh, the end of the kayak uh, trailer so that I can pull the uh, kayak because sometimes the wind raises cane and I can't uh, I can't push them out without them floating away this way I can pretty much guarantee that they're gonna be I can walk out to I can, basically I can walk out on the end of the 2x6 bring my kayak around and walk it I can walk that one up first then I can walk up this one second in that order uh, now, as, as we get to the end here, you'll see why I'm doing this. Why I'm doing this, because there, there's, I'm going to do a, um, an anchor point on each one of these kayaks in the front. So that when we, once we get the kayaks up there, we can hook it up to the uh, handle on that one. And mine, I've got some handles, because mine doesn't come with a handle, it comes with a strap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hook there that I can secure the kayak so it doesn't uh, fall off the, or, or go back, like I, like I said earlier, go backwards. I'm always trying to make my life a little easier, especially as you get older. And I've got a very active brain, which, like one other YouTuber said, it's a curse. I'm going to do this so y'all can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to... I think it'll look better if we do it this way. So I want to staple this. Oh, come on. And then come down. And then come down. Staple it here. And look pretty. We're going to do this last little piece. Uh, this was eight foot carpet and it's a little short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, overlap. Overlap this last piece so that we can have this 10 foot board completely carpeted. Turn this around. Now I'm leaving the ends 
spare because I've got to put another piece of wood on the end and then we'll I don't know I'm still thinking in my mind should I carpet it or should I spray it with some bed liner but I probably will carpet it since I'm gonna it looks like I'm gonna have some extra carpet left over okay so this is the last part that piece and then we're gonna cut we're gonna cut this here Ooh. I accidentally pushed the button blade fell out now to finish this off I'm going to put a couple of staples here. Excuse me. And I'm going to do I forgot to do this one. A little flat. My hand hurts from the staples. I'm squeezing. I've got to set it for heavy duty, but like this, I'm using my body weight to activate the, skit, the stapler, and it works. Oh, it's Texas, and it was 101 today, so it's still a little hot out, hot out here, and it's also humid. All right, now we're going to secure take the carpet off. I might use that in my boat. Try to center this. And remember, this is basically a plank for me to walk across. Well, I'm going to start over here on this side. As center as possible between the pipes. And I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive it right here in the middle. You're probably wondering, hey, that screw is going to scratch the kayak. Well, technically it doesn't touch, and it countersunk it. This is a this is from Walmart, but but it's uh, pretty powerful. For Twenty bucks, not bad. It's it's also lithium. Oh, by the way, these are construction screws, T25s, two and a half inches. That goes past two by four, two by six, but it uh, definitely grabs enough meat on the other side. There you go. Now I may install a two by four right here just to support it so when I walk across it it'll keep it from bending all right now we've got this these other I'll 
Okay. Um. All right, well, this is my brainchild. So what I did, and every kayak's gonna be different, but I made a bump so that the kayaks have a place to bump. So anyway, uh, now all I need is to put a um, hook, loop, chain, rope, <laughs> whatever, and I'm going to put a new handle here. That way I, ha I hooked onto the handle uh, to hold the, uh, the kayaks in place when I'm pulling out of the water. But, uh, yep, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, the next thing is I am going to put some guides so that we can also put a second rack on top for four kayaks. Okay, guys. Day two. 106 degrees. I already had to quit once and go inside and cool off. Change my shirt because it was soaked, but my uh, undies are still wet. Got the uh, guide bars on there. We are ready to go get this, actually both kayaks inspected tomorrow by the Texas Parks and Wildlife. Uh, because we're going to put trolling motors on these and we have to have a registration number here in Texas in order for it to be a motorized floating device I guess you could say so but um, here's what I came up with as far as uh, when I pull my boat in, in from the lake all I'm going to do is just go through this cleat to hold the boat until I pull it out of the water. So I got these all painted up and tomorrow afternoon we are going to go to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Office, have them inspected and turn in our paperwork or give them a check. Next time you see us, we'll be on the water with these kayaks and going a lot more faster. Bye.